Dude, who is that? Is somebody here? What? Who is that? Who? Is there somebody here? Hey, there is somebody here. Who is that? Let's see who that is. Oh, no fucking way! <laughs> oh! Oh, it's Susie! Get on camera, I want to see her. <laughs> Gabby, come back in here! Get where we can see oh, you. God. Come <laughs> back in here! Susie's here! Yeah, we know. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's why I'm pulled over at a rest area. I saw you getting squirmy. I was like, I need to get him talking about something. He's I know. I was like, I hope he doesn't leave the room. Everyone pulled it off. That's amazing. You did pull out. I had no idea you were coming here. Wow. Wow. What an amazing. You got to take a picture. I got to take a picture of you three. This is, this is stunning. I you were getting happy. squirmy. You you were you were looking for a reason to uh, leave for there for a brief moment. I saw it. I had it. I was looking for a reason to leave. Well, because I've already. Yeah, you're, been, you're, here's why I've been sitting here making this song all day, and uh -huh. uh, yeah, I, I could tell you were wanting to go do something though, and I was like, I gotta I gotta get him talking about something. Where is she? Where is she? They went to get them from the car. But, oh, okay. <laughs> How great is that? How uh, great is that? <laughs> it's Susie. Yeah. Here in California. I know. Oh. I'm excited. I'm excited to meet her, too. Oh, my God. Um, she's so not touchy. I went to hug her, and she's just like... Oh, really? <laughs> no, she didn't. I swear to God. Like, no. I swear to God. I swear to God. She totally... Yeah, who is it? Oh, Hey, do you know who? Hey, baseball. Hey, man. Do you know who's here today? Who is here today? It's me, local Susie. <laughs> you know who else is here today? Who else is here today? Remote Susie. In California, sitting right next to Eric. Well, not at the moment, but. <laughs> <laughs> it, awesome. Did you know that too? Did you know Sorry? she was coming? Did you know she was oh, coming? Oh yeah, yeah. I was Everybody knew from me. <laughs> Everybody knew. We're Everybody. All lit. That's great. That's amazing. Yeah, man. Wow. I'm so glad nobody told me. It was very difficult for me to keep up from you. Now do you understand why I'm trying to get the house all together and everything fixed up? <laughs> it's not for Nick? No! I love Happy oh, Eric. Oh, Shaggy, I'm with Kim! <laughs> you really shouldn't talk to me about something like that. I can't! I, but I tried to figure shit out TE wise, and I'm missing this really critical detail that there's somebody yes. else is going to be staying with us. Yes! God. Two weeks! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, fantastic. Remember I said to you earlier today, you'll understand. You'll understand. I don't remember you saying that. And you're like, I'll, I'll understand. You're, I'm like, yes, you'll understand why I'm doing, why I need this to happen. Wow, flowers. Oh. Hey, Kim, let me get her a base. Yeah, her She's fine. So this is the thing that happened. <laughs> Me I think Eric might have just found out about Sue. Oh. I just, yeah, I just, yeah, she just showed up there. I, when, I, when I was coming in, when I came in and you had, you were playing with the doll and you were, you were saying, look, Susie's here. And I was <laughs> like, oh, that's perfect. Because Kim said, Kim just, I was so not, I'm so not suspicious. Kim's like, we need to go in the room and you need to get, here's little, here's little Susie. I was like, hey, bro. And, uh, hey. I was like, um, I was like, okay, fine. Why? What's going on? And, but, but it's like, I wasn't, I just wasn't suspicious at all. But you know when I suddenly got suspicious was a different kind of suspicion. When Kim came back, I was still so oblivious. When she came back and started closing the garage door behind her, I was like, wait a second. There's somebody walking down the driveway. Let's go see who that is, you know? <laughs> I was, I was that kind of suspicious. 
And uh, and that's how not in suspicion, suspicion I was. Hi, Susie, have a seat. Would you like to say we're remote, Susie? Sitting? Oh, man. Yeah. Yay. I'm so happy we just walked in. That's awesome. Hey. There's the <laughs> The arch admin herself. She looks so tiny. That's, that's you. So cool. <laughs> All right, so seriously, let me ask you: something. Were you kind of worried that maybe I was just a fictional character? No. So. <laughs> I was a little bit worried. Maybe you were. I think you are more worried than I am. Probably. So, um, you are short. <laughs> 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 Uh, you can see the difference here. I also got the taller chin, so it makes it exaggerated. But you know, also, to me. Yeah, but no, I think nobody nobody realized how tall you were until they meet you. I, I assume also. When I met you, I was like, "Real." You know what? Oh, these are real American Marlboro Reds. I have my own. Okay, but Susie, listen. No, but I don't love those. But let me just explain something to you. It's very important. You can go all over the world, and everywhere you go, you're never going to be able to get a real American Marlboro Red, except one place. Where's that? America. <laughs> so the others are fake? Yeah, they are. Like Mexican secrets. Reds, they're all crappy. The only good Reds are American Reds. But that's like fake cigarettes. I mean, Susie. Uh, Norwegian Reds are shitty, too, I'm sure. What was it like, what was it like, like coming into LAX and seeing LA? I was... I would, like that has to be pretty crazy. <laughs> I think they checked my passport like five times in different places. I was interviewed, asked all kinds of weird questions because they didn't buy my story or something. What was your story? What did they, what, why did they? What do you mean? I went to meet people I met on the internet in February. Like, yeah. Carousel! <laughs> 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 Carousel! Mm -hmm. uh, is home, next next blankie that comes in here is Homeland Security. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm talking with fans people. That's a specific I wish you had to get some Homeland Security people watching. <laughs> they're they're my target audience actually. Uh, they gave me a stamp in my passport. They let you in. Did you get trouble getting a visa? No, I didn't need a visa. I got some visa waiver. <laughs> Cool. This is so fucking epic. I mean, <laughs> I am absolutely just blown away at the way shit goes down. Like, it's just amazing. It's honest. Honestly, man, I'm like so happy right now, and I'm not even the one who's like traveled there. I just wait till I'm happy. Too. That'll be that'll be epic. That's gonna be fun. We can well, have a fun travel fun. right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we basically don't need any rest here anymore. Now we've got a quad travel right here. Oh my gosh, we do. Jewel and Nick, I'll tell you what. You and I can we can take turns quad traveling. Right? That's very gracious of you. Thank you. I won't I won't have quad travel. <laughs> What's happening? What's that? Oh, are you meeting up somehow? Yeah, you're, you're very, uh, I think somebody's echoey. Man, I feel like a little fanboy watching like a, a, like a series and then you see like your favorite character, characters get together. Is that... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this I, I, I swear to God, I see you not. It never crossed my mind. And it's not surprising really that it didn't cross my mind because I'm so absorbed in my own shit all the time, you know? It's like I'm assuming that Kimberly's just her life is focusing on what Eric's what Eric's got going on, you know, like <laughs> Eric is either it's like Eric, can you help me do this? Or Kimberly are you aware that I've got this thing going on over here or something? It's always about Eric. So I, I'm just kind of, I guess, I literally was so not suspicious that when she, I saw somebody walking down the driveway behind Kim and she was closing the garage door behind her, 
I got to get up like, hey, we've got an intruder coming. You know, Kim's not aware this person's out there walking towards us. It's the floor is the, the ashtray. Floor. The floor That's is my ashtray where I sit. Okay. I don't like him being on the floor. I sleep it all the time. So but that's the people ashtray and um, ashtray. There's a, his ashtray. And then I can bust ashtray. out another ashtray, Kim, but it would require me to give you one of your Christmas presents early. What? I'm going to bust out another ashtray, but it would require me to give you one of your Christmas presents early. Is this for telling me? I like surprises. Well, I'm saying, do I bust it out now? No. I'll give it to you now. You can use well, it for company. You that that's what I have now. That's one of the things. God, Kim. Don't tell me any of the things. Kim, what did you do earlier when I did to you have a, when I had a watch problem? What did you do? I busted out your early Christmas present. Now, what we did you get, say? Baby, I'm not going to be able to survive without a watch. Okay, I, I like, didn't oh say my that. God, you can't survive? I did not well, say I'm that. I'm going to have to bust out that Christmas. <laughs> I did not say that. But, Kim, the point is, we have an ashtray problem, so I did the same thing. I followed your lead. You can't bust my child without violating the rules of birth and birth. I get special treatment. I get the ashtray. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, yeah, that is pretty special. <laughs> That's her like say. Okay, so that was part of the weirdness when we first started out with our date, Abe. Remember, he thought I was an ESFJ? Hey, they're not as important as you are. No. Apparently, they are. They are. Eric, this is a good example of quality over quantity subscribers. I mean, it, absolutely. The, the thing about this channel and the stuff I, uh, I've experienced now, a consequence of it, and I mean, she's one of the most important people in my life. You know, and I this is the first time I've ever seen her in person. And they're not from Norway. I wanted to taste a little Norwegian. Oh, look at this. This is Norwegian food. Well, no, it's not. That's what they are. They are processed you, in Norway. Um, the nuts I can taste good. the Norwegian process. I'm going to see if I can taste the fjords in these. <laughs> What's up? Oh, right. These are known as fjord peas. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. They're not Norwegian. You don't need to say mm. no. Kim, they're Norwegian. They got the spirit of Norway in their heart. I should take that. Dude, the TSA fucking harassed the shit out of Susan, dude. Just straight up, like, what are you doing here? How long have you known Guess these people? Guess what this is? <laughs> oh my goodness. What is it? The cheese? <laughs> yes. Wow! Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, Norway. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. This is snow frisk. That's amazing. Look at this. Oh, he's Norwegian because it's got an unnecessarily long and unpronounceable name. Melkis Jokolade. Melkis Jokolade. Melkis Jokolade. Well, this is milk chocolate. That must be milk chocolate. Melkis Jocko. A lot, eh? If I go to Norway, I can survive. I well, I'll have to eat only chocolate, but I'll be able to say, "Give me." I don't know how to say that, but Melkis chocolate, Melkis chocolate. That's milk chocolate in Norwegian. Now, I say cheese in Norwegian. Snow frisk. That one's easy to remember. It's what happens when I uh, go through the airport in the snow. I just say, what does this say? What? Perfect. Perfect clean and fresh cream cheese. Look at your key. Look at the camera. What does this say? Do you see you in there? What? Look who's next to you. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? What does this say? The blue one. Yeah, that's the part. Peanut fresh green cheese. What does the bottom black part say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, perfect as spread and for cooking. I'll be spreading that all over your if buns you, you, at Thanksgiving. Does it have to be refrigerated? If you have crackers, you can eat it. Yeah, I, it's fine for now, but it should be refrigerated. Okay, I'm going to go put it in the fridge. I don't want my Norwegian chocolate. I can do it. I know Norwegian cheese to go bad. Okay, here. Thank you, Kimberly. You're a gentlewoman, a scholar, and a reader of fine literature. Um, Susie, how are you feeling right now? Huh? Okay, so hold on. Here's another thing. On the 25th, Kim doesn't know the date yet. Uh, we're doing a proposal. What was that? Your voice cuts off a bit. I said, I'm doing a proposal here on the 25th. Oh, man. <laughs> don't talk about it now. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so Jules, Jules is in charge of, of that and I need to talk to her actually about that uh, at some point tonight, but um, obviously right now maybe not the best time. There's all so much stuff shit going on. If if you could imagine like back back before any any talking about people should have it, like if I imagine some sort of world and it's structured to make me happy, it would have lots of exciting stuff going on all the time, you know? And it would be like people from Norway come to visit me and I mean he didn't really come to visit me per se but uh it's sort of an ancillary yeah, side effect but she is there right now next to you man that yeah it's amazing wow. and, and it's this. a relationship for me too because uh when we first met I I think I, I didn't think anything particular at first and then Unlike everybody else, I was like, well, you want to be a channel manager? She's like, yeah, okay. But unlike everybody else, she started to do stuff. And I was just waiting for this to happen at some point. And I was like, hmm. And then we started talking a lot more. You know, she was around all the time. And she she came in and became like the most important person on the channel. And, you know, she saved the day when. When I couldn't afford to pay Tiffany anymore. And Jeremy helped. Jeremy helped too. Yeah, I don't mean to under undervalue Jeremy's contribution there. But the person who I talked to and threw my hands up at was Susie. You know, so, and that's what always happens. If I got some sort of big problem, what would I turn to? I turn to Susie. When Kim and I are fighting, what do we do? We talk to Susie. And, you know, but sometimes Susie won't admit when I beat her in an argument. And that's okay too. <laughs> Oh, I'm talking about the argument where we had where you were fighting as Kim, basically. <laughs> and I won that argument, and that was very useful for me because winning that argument allowed me to not have that argument with Kim. And then later, though, I came back, and Susie tried to deny that I won that argument. <laughs> That's just because I didn't want to argue again. Oh, then why would you try to deny that I won it? Because we all do, because we just want to hear you talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> that I have won it. But you think you won, but really we just don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's like you make up some shit in your head and all this has to be fine. And then a week later you'll come back and like conceive that. No, that's not oh the case. God, that was ridiculous. That's not the case. Everybody <laughs> look, everybody thinks that because I concede, you know, X, like, oh sure it was ridiculous the X that I concede X two, which is okay, next so, to X, but so not quite the same thing so as you're X. Like, I won one point. I won the whole argument. Okay. No. Well, I mean, I. <laughs> God damn it, Susie. <laughs> if if it's a key point, then yeah. No, it's not the key point. Thanks, I guess it is. If I if the, if the thing is, you can win ten arguments, at their each whatever kind of little impacts they have. But if I win one, the impacts is global nuclear war. I'm going to win the debate. Right. The debate, maybe, but not the point, and you just end the conversation because you're not going to hear anymore. Okay, fine. I'll just put on this hat and be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Let the hat speak for you. Where is Kimberly's hat? That is the Hot Hot Spice bonnet. 
Yeah, remember his sexy hat? <laughs> this is the... Looks like you're wearing a giant burger on your head. <laughs> a what? A giant one. These are all medals I got for being cool. <laughs> Each of them is different. Like this one is, I think, like best soccer player or something. <laughs> All medals you got for being cool, and you bought them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was awarded them by various important institutions. <laughs> Money. <laughs> yeah. It was like the Chamber of Commerce gave me this most inspirational <laughs> fellow button. <laughs> oh, All right, so we should. Um, we should talk about the basement and stuff then, Kevin. Yeah. I see why you really wanted me to get the basement stapled up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, um, you your own house. <laughs> oh, you did? How is it over there? Because we put something in there. Oh, you should tell them about this. She <laughs> said, it looks less interesting. Less interesting now that it's not trash. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, it was your idea to go there, though, because we were around the corner, like, yeah, and we, we went to you, we went to your Ralph's. 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 There's some blank you want in. What about your goodies? We stopped. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Well, we were getting, well, I showed her the Denny's that burned out. <coughs> Died, huh? Mm -hmm. But then that shit was burned down and it was still closed. That's the slabs, Abraham. Oh, the slabs closing the door on my path. I showed her the Rosemead location. Mm. The Taekwondo place. Uh, uh, the choir. Yeah, the choir place. Eric, look, Eric looks like he's about to spit the uh, hottest bars and the hottest album of the year right now. Yep, I am. Swag. I am. All right, so let's all chip in for a bunch of cocaine. <laughs> no, okay. Now, I don't think Susie's really a drinker either. I think that. Uh, do you want to smoke some marijuana? No. Have, have you? Do. Oh, uh, right. In Norway, it's considered. A social um, have you smoked marijuana before? Yes. Did you experience highness? Yes. I expect I experienced being retarded. <laughs> marijuana doesn't make you retarded. I'm naturally this way. She's had conversations with us. She thinks, God, you're so retarded. Alright, let me make a video. I'm gonna make a video. Naughty Brocky Clown. Don't be Brocky Clown. Can I be a Naughty Brocky Clown? What's a Naughty Brocky Clown? Naughty Brocky Clown? Fabricon. Naughty Fabricon? A Naughty Fabricon. Fermented maybe afterbirth. What? I check. It's, yeah, it's a nickname wanna... Kim came up with for gravy. <laughs> Fermented meat afterbirth. Okay. I did not, Eric. She also came up with with two of the words of of uh, viscous meaty dis uh, viscous <laughs> meaty, viscous meaty drainage. What was the, what was the How creative of her. Uh, I want to talk about gravy, of course. Now, I also want to just talk about the channel and stuff and be like, this is really interesting. Yeah, I don't want too much detail stuff. Uh, I'm, not gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to talk about that yeah. kind of shit. All right. Hi, friends. Host Eric here. And this is not local Susie, although she's local at the moment. This is remote Susie. And I'm Derek, and we also have an attendant, Kimberly, the art pastor's wife, and my oh. old companion, uh, kick about town guy, Abraham. Woo! <laughs> so we got a quad gravel in the house, and I am experiencing elation. Now, I cannot necessarily attribute that elation to the quad gravel, however, because I, they surprised 
me completely. I had no idea Susie was coming. I I thought she had said stuff about like she might be coming at some point down the road. You know, I was like maybe this summer. You know, I expected to see her at some point, but I certainly didn't expect to see her today. And uh, when Kim was like, "Go get on me in the raw room," I didn't even think anything about it. I just no, Kim doesn't normally say anything like that to me. She doesn't normally say like blah blah blah. But it didn't it didn't even cross my mind to be suspicious because who's like actually going around life thinking I'm suspicious that somebody might surprise me with something right now? You know, nobody. I mean, I don't. Especially not because I don't know. It's just Kim does random shit sometimes. You know? <laughs> I'm always up to something. Like, that's the thing. I just trust. Yeah. And it gives me the whack in the Yes. I'm having plenty of affairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the Arch Pastor's Watch And I'm wearing it today uh, because it was right there. I don't know. And I just wanted to talk a little bit. It's kind of an aimless beginning of this video because I'm a little bit just taken. Rocked off my rocked off my equilibrium a bit here. I didn't realize we oh, were shit. having a house guest. You know, can, I, <laughs> <laughs> it was a giant, yeah. what the hell, right? <laughs> Suze is in California. Holy crap! Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna um, keep So, I, bring your nuts over here too. I have, I'm I'm a bit at a loss, but I just wanted to say some things about the channel and do a little bit of like rec recollection or something. There was a uh, a good stretch of time at the beginning of the channel when I had four subscribers, and I wasn't ever thinking that I'd ever that we'd ever do anything. And it was this job was as an archival thing for me to to muse out loud and have a record of it for myself. Um, but I probably had inkling to hope somewhere deep down. But it was unrealistic that anything would ever happen with it. And then now it's become so absolutely the central core thing in my life. I mean, it, and Kim's too. It, one of the reasons why Kim and my relationship is so perfect is because the way she, she so perfectly fits in with talking with famous people and she's she's not like insistent that we have like well I have my own project when you spend as much time on Eric or something like that although we do spend lots of times on projects that she initiates around the house that's not relevant I don't know why I'm talking about that shit anyway the point is um, and then after I started talking with people and Zachary was, was one of probably host Zachary was one of the first early adopters who, who helped really get things rolling for me because he um, he attracted a lot of young people and he was uh, the one who was instrumental in, in initiating the group setting like this instead of one-on-one, -on -one, which is what I was imagining initially. So, uh, and then just then, I, I the first thing that was really cool to happen with the channel was I met Zachary in Utah and hired him to be a judge for me at the debate tournament, the national championship tournament. Dude, we got Zach so shit-faced in the hotel. Did you? Like, he couldn't, even, he couldn't even walk. He was holding on to the bed. Like. He never told me that so story. He came from the channel? And he was like, he was like, yeah. we don't have anything out there, man. Is that Abe in the background? That Abe in the background? That's like, Abe in the background, yeah. So your first big thing um, was your country trip well no my first big thing was it was with the channel and linking it to my actual life was meeting zachary in utah and that was really cool and he met my parents and everything and my parents loved him and um he seemed to have a really good time met abe and felix and everything and hung out with them and uh you know and we had a good tournament we got uh semifinals and semifinals so it was a fun time it was a huge big like oh my god i can't believe this amazing thing happened to me that's wonderful and then it was turned out to be sort of like just the beginning because after that I planned a mission in Detroit one day when just on a whim arbitrarily Unify and I were talking I was like I want to visit you in Detroit Unify it's like okay if you want to and I'm like really you down for me to visit you and he's like yeah is host Zachary so active so active on here he was here 
He was here uh, maybe a week ago, and I didn't really get a chance to talk to him, and it's unfortunate. I need to go over his... He still comments and stuff periodically. Uh, anyway, uh, after... Well, some more time after Utah, we set up the GTM room, which was a raw channel like this, with Tiffany, who was the tech guy at the time, and uh, I was—I didn't know if anybody would ever come into it, but I liked the idea of having an auto-publish room that, that published uh, straight to the YouTube channel videos that could be referenced, so you'd have a archival record of all the conversations that happened. My one of the main reasons I thought would be a good thing is so that people could go. Blah, blah, you said blah, blah, blah. No, you said blah, 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 actually. Well, which one of us is right? Let's check the footage. But in reality, nobody ever does that because nobody actually gets down to it. It's not worth the hassle to check. <laughs> um, but regardless, I, I, got, I met some people there and I did the Mission Detroit trip last year and it was amazing. Uh, I mean, despite all the, the most, all kinds of crazy shit happened to me on that trip and it was, it was remarkable. It was I thought the most interesting thing I had ever done in my life and would ever do in my life, probably. I, at that point, though, I had hopes that maybe this channel would do something. It, it's been a steady, slow growth, but like somebody said in here, it's the difference between quality and quantity of subscribers. Because I am actually friends with most of the people around here, you know? And uh, I've met a bunch of people on Mission Detroit. I met Lawrence Walker. I met uh, with Taylor and, and Katie and uh, a, a lot of people. I don't want to list them all, but it, it was great. And then I came back from there and uh, and the community is how come I was able to get Kimberly as, a, as my girlfriend? Because I used people's advice and their guidance in, in paring down stuff, yada, yada, yada. The, the uh, okay, keep it profile, making it more like chick magnety. Um but and those three people are the people closest to us in our relationship. But right, but before I, I just give ahead a bit. Before that between um there Susie came into the mix and she had been kind of you know in a place of having health issues and stuff for a while and was kind of re entering the world having found some solutions to that and stuff. So I think I think neither of us had any idea what what would come of her having to come upon talking to fan people one day, right? Yeah, but it's uh she became a a go to therapist, confidant type person. She always has been able to more effectively get me to acknowledge some alternative perspectives probably than a lot of people although the isfjs can do that as well but it's a different style she's she's able to do it using the same basic modality as me which is nice and for some reason it's because she's so calm you know she's a calming influence on on me so <laughs> it, the, the thing is when i did get that okay cube stuff going on Susie helped me with the profile. Susie is one of the voices on the group, the video that I made saying basically you guys in the community who's in the room right now, can you please uh, tell the chicks that it's okay to go out with me? Like, it, it should feel safe going out with me. I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna Harvey Weinstein them or anything. So, or, or uh, what's his name? Louis C.K. I'm not gonna Louis C.K. -er. Hey there! You mind if I masturbate into this potted plant? <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> well, you don't want me to? That's okay. I'll do it anyway. It's fine. That's what potted plants and masturbation are for. It's fertilizing it. Okay, so anyway, um, Susie then was a huge component, along with Jewel, who I've also met. And I haven't even gotten into the Nick and Jewel part of this thing, too, but uh, she helped me salvage Kim after I fucked it up the first night. And it's not easy to salvage Kim once you fuck it up with the ISFJs. If you fuck it up right away, they're going to assume that whatever bad thing you did is your ongoing behavior for now and evermore. So it's not easy to salvage that shit, but with Susie and Jules' help, I was able to do so. That's the advantage of an egalitarian environment that 
treat everybody the same and doesn't try to be all like, you know, like, I'm going to reduce everybody to people and women. <laughs> you know? Well, you do so when it fits your argument. I, I never, when does it fit my argument to do that? It doesn't. <laughs> I have occasionally, but it's a joke when I'm doing it. I like to make jokes. Um, okay, I'm having a lot of trouble with the uh, processor speed or the internet speed. I'm not sure which. It, I'm super laggy on your guys. I'm not hearing anything you guys say. So what I'm going to do, though, is I just want to say that um, Nick and Jewel into this narrative as well. They're another couple like me and Cam with a duality pair and hugely you got mother fucking piece whoops I guess that's the end of that then <laughs> <laughs> oh he's coming back why <sighs> some, some advertiser thing like advertisers don't want <laughs> that would do me any good in this situation, Abraham. Um. Yeah. So, anyway, Kim and I went to San Diego. We hung out with Nick and Jewel. That was super cool. Jewel, Nick's been to the house and stayed with us. Uh, Katie stayed with us when Taylor went to prison. I can't. I can't even talk to you, Jewel. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Is he not coming back after that? I guess we'll find out. Dun, dun, dun. I'm so glad in the we next came episode. in here. Just, just <laughs> the two wide on time. <laughs> that was beautiful. I love seeing Eric happy like that. Best typo. <laughs> I don't know why he had to narrate the entire thing again. We've already made story videos of Toggle Fantasy before, and we've done updates. This is like a waste, <laughs> like a total waste. He's just so happy that he feels like he needs to. Like, I understand. That's one that. thing, but then to make a video about the exact same thing <laughs> over again. I know, I know how he feels. Man, it's making me want to travel now. It's making me want to go places and visit people. Do we have the light? I guess. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Hold on, who, who sounds alike? Me and you. Oh. Really? No. 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 <laughs> I was about to say, like, to, to an American sure. person, yeah, more than likely, but <laughs> to a normal person, no. <laughs> and yes, I said normal because the Americans aren't normal. <laughs> America, fuck yeah. What English? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys don't come from anywhere near the same places, Lydia. I'm from the southwest. Mm. I'm not even from here. I'm not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> yeah <laughs> I love the way you put that oh man I mean um, like me and Elsie were talking right before we um, walked in here 
I was telling her, um, you know, something that was going on in my life. And, um, like, I've been feeling <coughs> kind of shit this, this um, last week. Mm. Like, kind of going through some anxiety and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I kind of had, like, a little uh, kind of, like, therapy slash coaching thing today that helped me out, like, a lot. Mm. So I managed to uh, calm down. Because, like, literally about four hours ago, I was having a full-fledged panic attack. Mm. And I was feeling like shit. Um, so that helped me out. But then, you know, feeling the freedom from that and then walking, that you know, then I was talking to Elsie, which made me feel a little bit better on top of the already, you know, the improvement I got from the therapy, but then walking in here, right as we see Eric finding out about Sue's, like, man. The best uh, timing. I missed it. I fell asleep. Like, uh, I missed it. I missed it by obviously not that long. <laughs> oh, man. But lit literally, I was talking to Elsie, and then I was just free drawing, and Elsie just goes, you know what, should we go back to the uh, real room? And I'm like, be social. Yeah, let's be social. I don't see why not. And just as we walk in, I think um, Eric found out. And Eric was like, man, like, ah, look. <laughs> and it just, man, it's honestly, it's made my day. Like, this is the first proper smile that I've given for more than a week. Like, I've barely spoke to people this week. And, man, it's therapy. Like, fuck, I needed this so much. And the, the the weird thing is, it doesn't even affect me directly. Do you know what I mean? It's making me feel a bit strange because it's like I have nothing to do with that. Yeah, I feel so happy for them. And I just, yeah, made my day, man. Made my day. It's good stuff. Walking on the sunshine now, Basin. This one is a different yeah. color. <laughs> is it? I'm colorblind. This one's blue. This one makes... <coughs> blue, gray, and purple can look the same to me. So this works. There is no what? Oh, I don't think she knows what just happened. <laughs> it's a secret you're not allowed to tell her. just missed it. Nobody tell her. Nobody tell her. <laughs> I feel like I don't know what happened. Why is it? What do you think? Well, if you if you saw the Facebook post, I think you'll 